What is going on, folks? It is Rigor Mortis. We are back with yet another video, and today we are talking about Shiba Inu. Folks, we are just hours away now, probably going to be less than hours away here whenever the video is actually being watched. So, we are very close to seeing the rewards that we are going to get from burying on Shiba Swap. I'm going to go through some of these numbers, they're absolutely insane right now. There's going to be more questions than there are answers in this video, but we can talk about it together, obviously. So, let's go ahead and get into it. If you are new around here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Throw a like on this video so we can get it out to more people and go ahead and comment down below. I want to see you guys in the comments for this one because I have a lot of questions. I know there are people that are much smarter than me that have a lot more answers than I do but we'll talk about it in today's video and I'll try to be responding to comments as they come because I really want to have a nice dialogue as to what's going on with ShibaSwap. Of course folks the best way you can help out this channel there's a link in the description below for Webull. If you open up a Webull brokerage account using that link and deposit just five dollars you can get yourself two free stocks valued all the way up to two thousand three hundred dollars so go ahead and get your essentially free money when you use that affiliate link down in the description below folks the price of shiba inu we can see it is doing fairly well on the day obviously a drop in the bucket compared to what we have been seeing over the past seven days which is just a lot of red slight recovery here same song different dance for pretty much all of our other cryptocurrencies but we are not here to talk about the steady price today of course i'll get into that at the end of the video but what i want to talk about today is shiba swap burying in particular and taking a look at the price of bone we talked a lot about this on the live stream yesterday if you didn't catch that it was me your pop invest with purpose and it was really 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 good and so or invest with a purpose sorry we were going back and forth and we had a great dialogue about what's going on with shiba swap one thing I want you guys to quickly take a look at. Now, there's some discrepancies. In particular, whenever you look at the berry bone, you can see that the bone APR here is 144%, plus the bone APY is 37.3%. But whenever you go on the Shiba Swap analytics, it says that the APY is a mind boggling 53,000% almost 54,000%. It's absolutely nuts. So, and then the APR they're saying here is 144%. So way different than the APY and the APR that we're seeing here on the Shiba Swap platform. And I quite honestly don't know what to believe. Something that I did as a cross-reference, I went and looked at Barry Shib. And again, this uh, additional ETH APY, uh, it's, it's sitting at 17,000%, which is absolutely insane. And if you go to Barry Shib here, you can see that that's actually accurate. So there is, like I said, a lot more questions than there are answers right now. Is this APY and APR accurate when it comes to bone? I mean, a 53, almost 54,000 APY, it's absolutely insane. I got some questions about the difference between APY and APR. APY just takes into account compounding interest. APR does not, but I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous if these are actually accurate. Now, a lot of people have been saying, hey, how much money am I actually going to get if I stake, say, $1,000 worth of SHIB, $1,000 worth of leash, $1,000 worth of bone? Now, the reason I don't know yet is because we don't know how this APY is going to be distributed across the whole pie. I told you guys this before. When it comes to the whole liquidity pool, it could be the case that this is the whole liquidity pool percentage annual percentage yield. So I'm not sure if it's going to be distributed. <laughs> I mean, 54,000% for just one token for one wallet is just absolutely insane to me. But we will see as these things start to be, uh, come out. And we see here in three just three hours, we are going to get a look as to how much we have earned over the past couple of weeks when it comes to burying SHIB, burying leash, and burying bone. The burying leash hasn't really changed all that much. It's sitting here at a 48% APY, APR, sorry, and a 3.6% APY. This is for bone, this is for leash. Hasn't changed very much, but the ones that have really been mind boggling are definitely the AP, APYs when it comes to Ethereum for staking SHIB and uh, uh, bone for staking bone. So the bone for bone that you're getting. So like I said, there are a lot of different questions. One thing that we have seen for sure, and we know what we are getting when it comes to an annual percentage yield or annual percentage, percentage rate is whenever we're talking about these SSLPs, we saw it on here. It's very accurate. Whenever you look at the, uh, if you go here and then you look at the wolf pools and you can click on all and you see all of them here and 
the one that we were most interested in obviously was the bone uh, ETH combo and you can just click here and to see which ones uh, give you the most bone per day it's been bone ETH pretty much for the whole liquidity event so far and interestingly enough it says here per $1,000 that you put into this uh, pair you get 2.95 bone per day we did some calculations last night on the live stream and we noticed that this actually doesn't take into account the liquidity event that's going on and the fact that the bone that you get per block is multiplied by 10 right now and we found it to be closer to 29.5 bone per day that you are getting per $1,000 that you are investing in this liquidity pair. So then the questions become, are these yield percentages actually calculated taking the liquidity event into account? I don't think so. I think it's actually 3,610% right now. But that said, we are not sure yet. All the questions should be answered here in the next couple of days because as we start getting the answers, uh, the questions answered when it comes to burying SHIB, whether or not these APYs and APRs are correct, burying leash, these as well, and then of course burying bone, which has just been mind boggling recently. Once those questions start getting answered, we will start having a little bit more information as to how, which which pool essentially, which farming pool is going to be the one that is going to be the most profitable. Now that being said, we have three hours folks, and it's probably going to be even less time than that. By the time this video goes up, it might be an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours. So I need you guys to keep your eyes peeled when it comes to this one. Something else we have to touch base on is the price of bone, which has been absolutely dropping ridiculously. Obviously, the one thing that we all have on our mind is when is bone going to go up? You guys have to keep something in mind. Bone is being minted at a rate which it's never going to be minted again. The rate at which we're seeing bone being minted, it's absolutely nuts. Obviously, the liquidity event is going on. And as time goes on, less and less bone is going to be minted. So this is going to be one of those tokens that we really have to keep an eye on. We talked about it yesterday in the live stream, how bone might be the token to watch. Obviously, Shiba Inu the ship token itself this is the foundation for the whole ecosystem but bone is one of those tokens we need to keep a close eye on because it is the governance token it is the swap token right now it's the one that you get for almost every single farming pool it's the token to watch it's the one we know exact we have 250 million that are going to be in circulation by the time all of them are minted as of right now we have about 85 million in circulation uh, give or take obviously that's a rough estimate and by the end of the liquidity event they're they're estimating that there's going to be 100 million bone in circulation and so it's going to take a couple of years at least for us to get the fully am amount fully minted but you have to keep in mind that over time less and less bone is going to be minted even after the liquidity event is over the if you look at the graph that they have on the wolf paper the amount of bone minted per block is going to go steadily downwards until it reaches some asymptote where it is going to stay like that until all the bone are minted so keep an eye on bone keep an eye on the berry for shib keep an eye on the liquidity pools if these rates are correct it's going to be something very special, but we need to wait just a couple more hours and see exactly what's going on. Unfortunately, I did not bury any bone. I told you guys the liquidities that I am doing, the farming pools that I am doing, I buried SHIB like I said I was going to do. So we're going to see whether or not this is accurate. And then I also added to the liquidity pools. What I did was the SHIB, uh, sorry, the bone ETH liquidity pool because it was the most profitable at the time. So that's what I have my money in right now. Obviously, we already know what these are looking like because we see those gains every single day. But the real question becomes, what is going on with staking? What are these APYs and APRs, and are they actually accurate? We get those questions answered today. Me and your pop are thinking about doing a live stream as soon as those numbers do come out, so keep a watch out for that. Please comment down below, folks. I really need to hear your guys' opinions about how the distribution is going to be. I've heard some people say on the Discord that you know these percentages are not necessarily for each individual, so we need to see how they are going to be allocated. 
It's only a matter of time, just a couple of hours left. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Please throw a like on this video so we can get out to more people and subscribe if you're new around here or finding your way back. I know I babbled a lot on this video, but there's just so much going on. I wanted to get this video out fast. I didn't want you guys to get delayed because there is, you know, time is of the essence here. Of course, last but not least, folks, that Weeble affiliate link is in the description below. Not going to beat a dead horse. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, Rigor Mortis. I'm out. Peace.